What up YouTube, it's your boy Savio back again with another reaction video and today I'm actually super excited to get into this video that we're going to be doing. I was not planning on reacting to this video at all until literally this morning when someone commented telling me what the premise of the video was and I was like, oh yeah, I definitely got to see this because it's just interesting to me. So here we are, the video got moved up the list and now we're doing it. Hopefully I get this video out in time, but if not, sorry, it, it happens. On that note, I'd like to respond to some hate comments that I've gotten. There are a couple of you who have specifically told me you only subscribe to my channel to see me react to one video in particular, and that if I don't react to that video very soon, that you will in fact unsubscribe from my channel, which, okay, <laughs> like I don't, I'm sorry, there's no plan to this. I didn't plan to fall down this BTS rabbit hole. I literally reacted to a video so a couple of my friends would shut up about it. And then I was like, oh, these guys are sick. I want to know more about them. And here we are. I'm not doing it for clout and I'm not doing it for money. One, the vast majority of these videos get demonetized. And even the ones that don't, my channel isn't big enough for it to really make me any money anyway. As far as the clout thing, if I was doing this for clout, I would have been done this. I've had a YouTube channel for almost a year. Like, if I just wanted as many viewers as humanly possible, BTS would have been the first video I did. So, that's ridiculous, and that's kind of the point of this channel. This is me going along this journey, reacting to the videos that intrigue me, hence this video got pushed up the list, even though it wasn't planned for me to do this video. So, if you are going to be pissed off, that I'm not reacting to the video that you told me to react to, then I don't know what you want me to say to that. One, there are lots of people commenting their recommendations. And the vast majority of them are mature enough to understand that, hey, he might not get to my video next. And that's okay. And if you're not one of those people, you're gonna be tormented by being on my channel because let me tell you, this is not going to be the last time that I change up the schedule. Anyway, now that we've gotten that out of the way, all the people who haven't clicked off, what's up guys? Hope your day is going well. I'm hoping that this video is gonna be lit. I'm per usual going to share my honest opinion because that's, that's what I do. But I like these boys, I like these boys a lot and I'm kind of hoping for some haters to get wrecked in this video. So, without further ado, let's get into this thing, and I'll see you guys on the other side. P -p 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 Peace! That was so corny. Why did I do that? Oh my god, I'm embarrassed for me. First of all, this video is not intended to hate other groups in any ways. I made this video to show you that you shouldn't belittle a group or any human being just because they have a dream. Because you don't know what karma will do to you someday. And excuse me for grammar mistakes. Cause we be new I sucks in English. <laughs> That's a mood though. This don't help me speech better. Now let's talk about case number one. This one is from October 2016. When BTS didn't have any desang yet. I know right. What's a desang? That's not the little brother word, right? That's dong. Dong, so I don't know how to say it, but that, that's a different word. Is, is they saying like some, some award? For them. That's why BTS didn't have any desangs yet, because their fans is more focused on YouTube. But in November 19th, 2016, okay, right which after. is just one month after previous tweet, BTS got their first desang in MMA 2016. Melon Music Award. I saw that in the... Nobody to Legends video? Is that the award show that uh, Sugar cried at? Anyway, is Melon Music Awards kind of like the Grammys, but Korean? Basically, clue me in on what the Melons are and why their awards aren't called Melons, but Day Sangs. Unless Day Sang actually means Melon in Korean and then I'm gonna look uncultured right now, but. And even after BTS got Day Sang, they still refuse to acknowledge that achievement. They keep comparing BTS with other group. BTS is only one year younger, only has one D-Sang, and this other group is one year older, and has 15 D-Sangs. Okay, so, sorry, I read that really fast and I was gonna pause before it got all the way through, but I realized, you know, not everybody is a major weeb like me, so might not have as much experience reading the young subtitles. I don't even know why they locked out the group's name, because it's very clear who that's referring to. Also, why is this a thing? Because 
if this person is a fan of they who shall not be named, if they're a fan of this group, then they would know that they are from one of the big three companies because I'm not even like a K-pop fan like that and I know that. So obviously if you come from a bigger company, that will affect the awards that you win, especially early on in your career. So like, huh? Also, it's funny how people move the, the goal line. It's like, oh, you'll never get one or you don't have one. And then when you get one, it's like, oh, but you only have one. It's like, yeah, but last week you were saying that I didn't have any. So now I have one and now you're changing what the criteria is. Huge difference, but Kamar is an army. On December 2nd, 2016, BTS got another D-Sang in Mama. Artist of the year, but haters gonna- Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Didn't they just win one the month before? How, how does this award show work? Do they not get all of the awards on the same night? People are like, you're definitely not a music major. How do you not know this? Because I don't live on that entire side of the world. I hate. BTS only have two D sang. BTS only have two D sang. This other group just turned their 16 D sang in four years. BTS will literally never achieve that. Be quiet. And karma strikes again. In 2019, BTS got 20 D sangs. Two D sang from 2016. Three D sang from 2017. Thirteen D sangs from 2008. Bruh, thirteen. 13, like one less than 14, one more than 12, 13 in one year. That's insane. I don't even know how these, this award show works clearly, but that's insane. That's a whole lot of awards in one year. That's crazy. 18 and 2D sangs from 2019. <laughs> now we shall move to case number two. The fall of yourself tear comeback some people think BTS overproduced song and they believe that tear comeback will be flop and BTS could never reach 1 million pre-order sales. Arm is going for million pre-orders. I'd like to see them try. One second. G give me a second guys. Order I want to read the original Arm is going. For million pre-orders. I'd like to see them try. This BTS comeback will be a tragic failure. Mark my words. Their sales won't even reach the sales of the DNA album. F. It won't even reach 1 million. It will be awakening slap to their reality. So get your popcorn ready. Because BTS will be the worst flop in K-pop history. That... That already doesn't make sense. Because how can you be the worst flop in the history of anything, let alone K-pop, if you're already acknowledging earlier in the tweet that their DNA album, I guess, sold well because you guys know I'm a noob and I have no idea how many sales the DNA album did, but based on the wording of won't even reach the sales of DNA album, I'm assuming the DNA album did better than this person thinks that they could do again, which means if it did that well, then there's a fan base for it, right? Back to 2016. Netizen also underestimating BTS album sales. They couldn't believe that BTS will ever reach 1 million sales. What is Netizen? Is that a blog? Sorry, I got really distracted by the boys' outfits because you know your boy like the clothes. I thought they were wearing prison jumpsuits for a second. After Love Yourself tier released, tier reportedly surpassed more than 1 million and 400,000 pre orders. Proving that BTS eventually can reach 1 million album sales in one pre-order. It also proves that Tear Comeback was not a flop like what they predicted. So no. after that, some people started using no 10 million no opinion to belittle bit. Bro, how? Okay, hold on. 1 million to 10 million? Like, that's not... That's not even close. Why was that the next number that people jumped to? BTS and ARMY, in December 2018. BTS officially reached 10 million sales according to Gayo Music Chart. With 5 million album sales from 2018 alone. Yikes. Wait. Hold on. Go back. The chart. With 5 million. Okay. Hmm. When you're such a noob that you only recognize like 3 or 4 names off this list. 
That's like super impressive. That is really, really impressive. Because they stomped everyone else. Like it wasn't close. The album sales from 2018 alone. Therefore, be the big three that you guys have told me are SM, JYP, and YG, I think, like the rapper. And oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's up at the top of the. It's on the top of the screen, idiot. Which. Which of these is YG? I don't see YG in the top five. Why are they... Why are they considered in the big three if they didn't make the top five? Did they just not release things that year or... Also, this is 2018, which 2018 looks like it was a very good year for the boys. I mean, winning all the, the, the melons and all these album sales. BTS surpassed big three in gay own sales 2018 with just two albums. Love yourself, tear, and love yourself, answer. Crazy. <gasps> Moving to the next case, when BTS were nominated for Top Social Artist in 2017, some other fandom stated that it is irrelevant, and they didn't wish to win such award. You all are going to wish you have a BBM as, no, we are fine with all of our faves music awards, I'll pass this to other fandoms. Some of them also votes for Justin Bieber, Pay. just because they didn't want BTS to win. Since my fate doesn't need billboard. So petty. Again, why are you... I get blotting out the people's names for, like, anonymity and, and getting sued purposes. But why blot out the group's name? We know who's under the little blot. I know y'all know because I know. And I'm, I'm not even smart like that. But why? Why? Like, even the way that this is, is phrased is so petty and immature. If this person is watching... You're not, because, I mean, clearly you don't like the people who this video is about. But if you are watching, if you've had a change of heart, please DM your boy. Instagram, Twitter, comment on YouTube. I read all my comments. I want to know what was the thought process here. How does this benefit your group at all? If you spent this time and energy on your group instead of this group, wouldn't your group then be benefited by that instead of what you're doing now, which is wasting time? This this is the wasted anger that my boy RM was talking about. This this ain't this ain't helpful to nobody. Justin Bieber don't want this vote. I mean he might, but nobody else is is benefited by this. So why? I'm going to let you win Justin Bieber. But BTS actually got an invitation from the BBMers to attend the ceremony. And thanks to armies, BTS finally become the winner of Top Social Artist in BBMers 2017. They also got more recognition and gained new fans after winning the award. Fast forward to a year after, BTS were nominated again in the BBMers. They won this second one, right? I think you guys told me that in some other video. Why didn't they win 2019? What, what, ha were they nominated? Were they not nominated? Is this video just too old? What, what happened? Who won instead and why? That's my question. Also, has this group whose fans clearly hate y'all for a lot of award shows, you have to put yourself in for nomination? Are they just not putting themselves in for nomination? Like they genuinely don't care? Or are they putting themselves in for nomination, not getting nominated, and then be like, I didn't care anyway. I didn't even want it. Those are different, by the way. One is sad. The other is genuinely like, y you don't care. And that's fine. Were nominated again in the BBM as some other fandom even started to wish for the same award. Wonder who? Before. Why do people want Korean groups be Western so bad? After, uh, how many weeks do you need to be nominated for Wow. BBM but wow. they say that it is delusional for BTS to perform or having a comeback stage at the BBM as. Why do armies actually think America will actually let BTS perform at the BBM as? That's next level delusional. Just because they had. I'm like 80% sure this person is an American. Oh, by the way, stop bashing my country in my comment section. There are lots of Americans, me included, who like BTS, who don't mind non-english anything where there are 315 million of us just like you don't want us to categorize your country and say you are all this because you're from blank place don't do the same to us just because some people in my country are closed-minded does not make everyone in my country closed-minded 
clearly, there are plenty of army who are American. That thought process is the same reason why some people think all army members are toxic because of a few bad seats. Give social media a reward doesn't mean they will allow them to have their comeback on the stage too. Do you people really think that a pop group would have a comeback stage in the United F States? But as always... Okay, that, that person was, was probably from the United States. Karma is an army. BTS got invited not only as the nominees, but also as the performer in BBM as 2018 and their performance will be a world TV premiere for Fake Love. And of course, they also become the winner of Top Social. 2018 was a very good year for them. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't all perfect rainbows and peaches and that's not even the phrase, but you get my point. I'm sure it wasn't perfect, but clearly a lot of good stuff happened for them in the year 2018. The Artist Award for two years in a row. <gasps> now we shall talking about the latest event, the Grammys. Oh, jeez. Sips tea, yes. On September 11th, uh -oh. BTS were invited to the Grammy Museum for the first time, but some people act like it never happens. I don't remember BTS being invited to petty. the Grammy Museum. Why? Must so have petty. My mind up. Well, mayhaps they didn't have any internet in that day. Anyway, in October 2018, Big Hit announced that they have submitted BTS for six Grammy Awards. And as always, there's people who make fun of this. BTS stands think they are getting Grammy nomination tomorrow. Okay, but you're an Ariana stan. Like, why are you mad at BTS? They're not even from our country, bro. Why? You you should be beefing with, like, a Taylor Swift stan or something. Why are you mad at some boys from the other side of the world? I don't get it. BTS stands really think they're gonna get a Grammy nomination for their faves. Unfortunately, there isn't a Grammy. That person is a Selena Gomez stan. Like, why are you mad at BTS? Like, what? What, what did BTS ever do to Selena? Like, nothing. Wh why? What are y'all mad at them for? Okay, the group who shall not be named, I get, not really, but I can see why their fans would be mad. You used to be top dog, you ain't top dog no more, you're bitter. Okay, why? What? Selena Gomez probably likes BTS. What, what are you doing? Me for having Twitter follower, huh? It's earned and you can't vote. Fun That's... fact. Big Sweat will never touch That's... T yeah, you also earn titter... titter? Haha, <laughs> Twitter followers, so... Yeah, you also earn album sales. You also earn selling out arenas. Why? Like what 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 was your what was your thought process there? What was your point? This video is gonna be so long, bro. Like I'm really just I'm spazzing this whole video. But I mean anyone who doesn't like me pausing, I'm sure has left already. So the rest of you guys strap in, like that other comment said, get your popcorn because this this gonna be a dumpster fire. Grammy, and in a few years, they will be forgotten. Jokes on them, ha ha ha. Because BTS got their first Grammy nomination Good. right after they said that. Even though it's for their album design, it's still a nomination, and it's still an achievement for BTS and ARMY. But of course, some people were pressed about it, Me. and they can't accept the fact that Love Yourself Tear got a Grammy nomination for Best Recording Package. They said Tear album design looks like the hair on their shower wall. Well... <laughs> Yo, I don't even care if y'all dislike. That was funny. That was funny. That's something I was saying, and I like BTS. Y'all could be mad. Like, I, I can find that funny and not hate the boys. That was funny. That has nothing to do with their Grammy nomination at all. But that, in and of itself, if that's just the meme, that's funny. A nomination is still a nomination. At least we got one. And who knows what will happen in the future. Mayhaps we might even win one. True. And this design is a masterpiece. The designer worked so hard for this, please respect. I bet they did. After BTS got a Grammy nomination, haters trying to find something about BTS to hate on. And they come up with this one. No Grammys invite, no opinion. But Karma loved BTS so much. On February 4, 2019, Variety announced that BTS will appear as presenters at the 61st Annual Grammys which also fulfilled BTS's dream to attend the ceremony. I saw a clip of that. After the ceremony, BTS were also invited to an exclusive Grammy winners event only. BTS was honored with an invitation, 
to take portrait at the Grammy backstage studio, which only Grammy winners are allowed to, to have their port. Okay, so this, if you haven't already disliked, left the video, whatever, this, this, this your opportunity. Keyboard warriors, get ready. Ready, set, anger. Okay, so this is BS. I, I don't like this. Not BTS, just BS, no T. Um, this, I don't know if you guys have this phrase in whatever country you may be watching from. There's probably something similar, but I don't know if it's this exact phrase. But here in the U.S., we have something called a backhanded compliment. And basically what that means is you masquerade an insult as a compliment. And that's what this feels like. If these boys are breaking the records that I have seen them break in these videos like this, if they are impacting the amount of people who I have seen them impact in these crazy stadium shows, if they are making waves and trailblazing things in their country and in that part of the world in the way that they are, what is this? Why? What, what was the thought process here? This feels like a consolation prize, not like an award. Why did you invite them to a winner's party? Why did you invite them to present? Why did you invite them to come, but you didn't give them an award? First off, you nominated them for some category that's not even going to appear on TV, and they didn't even win that. And then on top of that, you, you do all of this stuff to kind of be like, Hey, yeah, we like you guys, but you don't actually give them an award. I don't, I don't understand. With Ariana getting snubbed, they had her perform at the show, had all her fans tune in to watch her get passed over several times for awards. That didn't happen with BTS, but they weren't, they, big hit, put them up for six awards and they were nominated in one, a tiny one, that the vast majority of people have never even heard of. Why? There is a World Music Award. That is a thing. For the people who don't know what that is, that's basically music from non-white countries. I shit you not, that is literally what the, the awards description is. People from non-European heritage countries. Clearly, they're not European. Period. So if if they are doing the things that they are doing, if they are outselling copious amounts of American artists, let alone artists in other parts of the world, why were they not even nominated for that award, let alone won that award? And then to invite them to a party with everyone else who won is kind of spitting in their face, is it not? It's like, hey, this is your redheaded stepchild award. I have nothing against redheaded people or, or stepchildren. I, in fact, am a stepchild and clearly not redheaded, but you know, it's, it's the phrase, let it go. Okay, okay, okay. What was the thought process here? Like, I just want to know. Uh, Grammy committee, contact me. If you ever see this video, which hopefully one day I get famous enough that this comes back up and gets me canceled or whatever, then like, what happened here? What was, I just want to talk. I'm not mad. I just want to know how things played out like this. Anyway, now that I have successfully completely sabotaged any future Grammys that I could have potentially won, I'm going to get off my soapbox and in my rant, and all of you guys who are still on this video, we're gonna finish this video, but it, it just seems like, it, it seems like a participation award, and, and I don't get it given that if me, random nobody in his room, can very, very quickly figure out how impactful these guys are, why are they not being rewarded as such? Do you, do you see what I'm saying? I'm curious. Let's talk. Let's have. Let's sit down, have a committee. We can figure these things out. If y'all need some help, I would be happy to vote on it. I would be great at this. I'll probably never get it thanks to this video, but... Come talk to you, boy. Portraits taken by the famous photographer Danny Clinch. Yes, BTS did that. 
Now let's talk about BTS concert. BTS can only sold out 16k not more it's their limit. While my faith sold out Jamsil 70k and adding extra seats due to high demand. Okay, but Okay, so I already saw from that chart earlier, SM is the the big daddy of, of the big three. Uh, or at least the most successful in that year. So I'm assuming this is the same fandom that keeps, for whatever reason, trying to drag BTS, which... Haters gonna hate, I guess. But, like, again, why? 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 What was the point of this? Like, that is the equivalent of saying, Oh yeah, my friend, who's from a family of giants, they're all Shaq's height, he can dunk, but... You, who's from a family of midgets, you can't even touch the backboard. How do you feel? Ha 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 ha. Duh! Of course the act from a bigger label is going to have bigger venues. That's how that works. That has nothing to do with how good an artist is. Fun fact, the most talented people I've ever met, musically and non-musically, are not the most famous people in those individual fields. So, again, what was the thought for, like these don't even make sense when you really try to look at them logically. I'm not even being a BTS fanboy right now, which I'm sure lots of people disagree with, but just if you look at things from a neutral perspective, this don't make no sense, like. But a year after, BTS Love Yourself Tour in Seattle sells out with total 90K seats in Jam Sil Stadium. They said BTS can't sell out more than 16k. Looks like it was wrong, haha. <laughs> LMFAO, -o 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 -o. until BTS has concert at Tokyo Dome, then you can talk. But for right now, continue with these self drags. Well, looks like we can talk now. Because last November, BTS performed in Tokyo Dome for Love Yourself Tour, and the tickets sold out for two days. So, who dragged themselves in the end? For sure, it's not armies. <laughs> Does BTS really think they can sell Zigo Dome? I said that Karma love BTS, but I'm saying it again, <coughs> because in June 2018, Zigo Dome announced that BTS concert is completely sold out, once again proving that BTS are capable to sell every dome they went to. <coughs> they are aiming for a national stadium in Singapore, LMRO. You think you can fill that up? That stadium got filled up during National Day only. So like they expect the whole nation to stand them. LM Row. That makes no sense at all. If y'all group is so much better than BTS, which I don't know. I've I literally never listened to y'all before. Y'all could be Jesus incarnate musically. But if y'all are, why? Why are y'all so worried about this group who you say that is inferior? A lion is not concerned with the opinion of sheep. Period. So, if y'all the big daddies, if y'all really as popping as y'all say y'all are, why y'all coming for BTS? Why? If they are as inferior as you say they are, why, why are you even wasting time talking about them? You should instead, again, be worried about your own damn selves, be worried about your own damn fandom, be worried about your own damn group. Why? Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. Come a come through. Toggle SG announced that BTS is the first Korean act to perform at the Singapore National Stadium, and they also the first one to sell it out. After all, I guess the whole nation really stand <laughs> BTS. Ha -ha. <laughs> we are living in a world where BTS really think they can sold out City Field. I never thought the end of the world will happen so soon. Why is that the end of the Let's world? Let's talk when their show will be sold out, which mean we will never talk. Wait because 30 they seconds. Because they sell so many tickets. Oh, well, well, well. The truth is there is overwhelming demand for BTS. Therefore, the tickets for BTS City Field concert is no longer available, which means they sell out City Field Stadium. Why? Again, everything, this whole video is basically people saying stuff prematurely and then being proven wrong. Do y'all go back and like taunt these people? Because I'm petty. I sure would. I'd be like, hey, hey, remember when you said this? Yeah, we got receipts, dog. How you feel now? Everything you say they can't do, they eventually do. So just keep your mouth shut. I don't get it. Why? Again, worry about your own fandom, whoever you like, whether it be a group, a person, whether it be a sport. What? Why don't you put your energy on supporting the things that you enjoy instead of hating on the things that you don't enjoy? Because that doesn't benefit you. Even if you tore down BTS, 
now your group don't got no career neither because you you so busy tearing down BTS, you ain't supporting your own group. So why? I know I've said that a hundred times. I should just put why on 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 the thumbnail because really, I, that's my whole question. Why? I don't understand the thought process at all. I don't understand how it benefits you nor the people you care about. So. I honestly amazed how haters always find a way to ridicule BTS and ARMY. Just look at this tweet. OP only said that they wished BTS will perform in Rossibol Stadium someday. This tweet didn't contain any hate towards the other, but the reply under it is crazy. Keep on dreaming, sweetie. Have fun trying. It is actually not explicit and less offensive than other hate comments so towards BTS and ARMY. But the fact that they doubt us for every single thing is ridiculous. But in the end of the day, BTS and ARMY can achieve everything. And BTS really going to perform in Rossibol and any other stadium. Therefore today's episode of Karma is an ARMY ended here. I'm sorry if I offended anyone. I'm not. And thanks for watching. Well that was way longer than I expected it to be. Like, wow. I <laughs> just had a lot to say. That be I some 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 stuff I need to get off my chest apparently. So if you're still here, hey, love you boo, love ya. You guys have told me repeatedly to stop apologizing for long videos. You guys love long videos. You're watching an hour long video with no subtitles just to watch them be cute. Okay, well I'm not as cute as BTS. So if you're still here, I'm appreciative. I'm gonna be appreciative, okay? You can't tell me not to be appreciative. So thank you. I love you. I'm not gonna make this too long because I didn't say all the other stuff I need to say in the video. I done ranted, lost Grammys, and all that. So, um, thanks. Be beautiful. Don't be petty like the people in this video. And uh, don't cough on people. Wash your hands. I ain't told people to do that enough. Go wash your hands. Yeah. Bye, guys. Love you. Peace.